Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a new Journey Halloween update part 1 folk showcase. So this showcase is going to be the map, the new skins, and everything that came out with the part 1 update. So part 1, if we look over here, this is what happened with part 1. So we got the Halloween themed map, we got Wanda Zombie Morph Revamp is the 2022 zombie wanda and then we got jack frost iceman skin and then we got hermes quicksilver skin and then we got the sanderson sisters which i'm going to be doing a gameplay earlier uh, like a gameplay i'm going to be doing gameplays with some of these characters but remember it's just part one part two is coming soon we don't know when part two is coming out but part two is you know it's could be the 30th for all we know you know we don't know when part two is gonna be yeah so we got San sarah sanderson which is the emma frost skin winfred sanderson which is a jean gray skin and mary sanderson which is an agatha skin all right so start off with the map so we got the bridge here we got the halloween decorations whole map is like gloomy now pumpkins road things we got more things here we're just doing a quick flyby and if you go down here we can see the the manor we got all these trees the gravestones where myler did the agatha all along like uh reveal for the witch's road which i can't wait to showcase Yes, yeah, so this is the manor. And then if we go inside the manor, see, it looks all. I'm pretty sure I didn't do much to the inside. Over here. We know what the danger room looks like. Go this way. Yeah, I've already I've already done a tour of this, but it's basically the outside that was changed. So now that we are done with the map, the map is just like how many pumpkins everywhere and it's all gloomy. Now let's look into the the skins that were released. First we got the Wanda Halloween um revamp. So this is what it looks like now. I don't actually own her, so I can't show but yeah so the hair is different the face is different the idol is different yeah next we got jack frost jack frost is the iceman skin um let me show you what it looks like this is what it looks like this is his his flight and then we'll go over and show the powers i don't actually have anyone in this so right now, so we'll just be using the NPCs. So this is his shield. That's what it looks like. It has 400 health. And we got Ice Crush, which looks like this. Next we got the Beam. Looks like this. Next we got the Spears, which looks like this. Then we got the Throwing Ice. Alright, we're back. The NPCs were a little frustrating anyway this is e then we got f which looks like this and then g all of the ice looks like glass now that's gonna be jack let's move on to the next character next we got hermes which is the quicksilver skin looks like this runs like this instead of like the blue running it's blue and then it turns is, turns into purple green and then yellow you see next we got the shield just like this 450 health next we got the combo let's run over to the npcs looks like this Next we got the time freeze, which looks like this. Try hard Bitch. next time. Looks like that. 
This is Punch. Next we got R, which is the tornado. Next we got Z, which is the super speed combo. Next we got E, which is the blitz burst thing. And then we got F, which is Sonic Boom. That's gonna be it for Hermes. Now let's move on to the next character. Next we got Sarah Sanderson, which is an Emma Frost character skin or whatever. Now, Sarah's probably the best out of all three Sandersons, because first of all, Emma. We've been wanting Emma to fly since she came out. So, remember, all the characters are buffed, right? Well, look at this. Broom. Bru like, I love the fact that Emma can now fly. Remember, she's a limited character, so let's hope not too many people buy her. First move we got for Sarah is the locator spell. It, you could click on someone and look at them. It just shows everyone around. But since there's only NPCs in this game right now, it's not going to work. So we got Astral Projection. We know what Astral Projection does. It's just for Sarah, it's a little, it does more damage for the pain infliction and a longer time for the possession. Next we got Q, which is her shield. It looks like this. Purple particles, 450 health. Next we got Mind Shutdown, which is her uh, ability. We'll just get rid of it. Next we got Memory Overload, which looks like this. It overwhelms the target's memories and makes them not have powers for like 30 seconds. Is it 30 seconds? I don't I don't know how long it is to be honest. I can't I can't say. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it just like does that. Next we got mind shutdown, which sends the target to the astral plane, leaving their body vulnerable. That NPC is not hope. Thank you very much. Anyway, it looks like this. And then once they're in the astral, you can punch them, but I don't think it works on NPCs. But it basically just force them to astral for 30 seconds and you can punch them and kill them. I think I'm bugged now. Yeah, I'm bugged. Anyway. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, of course I can't spawn next to the NPCs. And it's actually a fast flight too. Next we got Mass Mind Control, which makes all nearby players attack the one person. It doesn't work. Next we got R, which looks like this. Try harder next time. It, it insta kills them under 50%. Next we got Z, which is puts them uh, puts everyone near you to sleep. Next we got E, which is her bolt, and then F, which is her chargeable burst. That's it for Sarah San Sarah Sanderson, which is the Emma skin. Now we'll move on to the other Sandersons. Next we got Winfred Sanderson, which is going to be the Jean Grey skin. Another one of the Sanderson sisters. Flight looks like this with the broom. And then you can toggle the hands if you wanna see like the particles. Next we got <laughs> next I haven't even started. Next we got looks like this. It's green particles. Uh four hundred and fifty Next we got X, which is pain infliction. Looks like this. Next we got C, which is mind control. You can control the target, make them move around. Next we got R, which is telekinesis, and then you can throw them. Next we got Z, which is sleep. Puts them to sleep. Next we got bolt. I'm just doing it fast because I don't want the NPCs to up. This is her bolt. And then F, which is her boom. That's Winfred, which is the Jean Grey skin. Not limited, just regular Jean. 
All right, we're at the last skin for the Halloween event, part one, because remember, there's part two, remember? So this is Mary Sanderson. She is an Agatha Harknick, a Harknell skin. And yeah, remember, all these skins are limited for Halloween 2024. This is her particles for the hands. All right. This is her teleportation. And then, of course, you got the classic Agatha Reeve. Looks like this. Next, you got her shield, which goes like this. 450 health. Next, we got X, which is her chains. Next, we got... Oh, wait. Let's show the bolt. Next, we got E, which is her bolt. It's red voltage. Next, we got C, which is mind control. Looks like this. Next we got R, which is telekinetic, uh, like, slam, and then release, and it'll slam to the ground doing damage. Last keybind we got is F, which is her runes, which looks like this. In a given space, only the witch that casts the runes can use her magic. Looks like that. It's the same as Agatha's runes, it's just it's, it feels a little bigger. Um, yeah, and it's red particles. Makes the target not be able to use their powers. Alright, that's going to be the end of the Halloween 2024 Part 1 Showcase. When Part 2 drops, I'll release a full showcase for that as well. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Join my new Discord server, and goodbye.